Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do an update to the dividend and growth investing portfolio. The whole point of this channel is to grow this portfolio. Okay, the whole point of this channel is to grow this portfolio, get it over a million dollars, and hopefully in the future be able to live on this portfolio. So that's the whole point of the portfolio. So before I get into all the details that I want to touch on in this video, first thing I want to point out, um, all throughout the video, this sec this number is going to be different because I record different segment at different time. Just because as I make changes to the portfolio, I always record the changes that I make and then I put everything together and put it into one compilation and present it to you guys uh, as a full package of what I'm doing to the portfolio, what I'm doing to grow the portfolio over time. So we are going to talk about a couple of things in this video. First and first, we are going to talk about Apple. Okay. Apple keep doing it every single year. They come out with brand new products that people are willing to pay a lot of money for. They come out with all this product. Let's take a look at it, their, their product first. Here's the latest product that they came uh, that they that they out with. MacBook Pro, this computer, it's quite an improvement. I watched the presentation. It's quite an improvement from, from the previous generation. It is quite an improvement. So I believe that they're gonna sell a ton of this a ton of this. You know, you know, Apple has a court like following as well, um, um, as well. And, you know, their products work. If you have the iPhone, you have the AirPods, you have the iMac, you have everything like it just works together. You know, people love convenience. People will pay for things that are easy and convenient to use as compared to things that are cheaper. OK, the second product that they that they came out with was the airport since the last time i did this update since the last time i did this update they came out with the airpod here this is a brand new airport this is this is like almost 200 dollars. the third product that they came out with is this one right here you know home pod mini they, they 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 just came out with different colors i think they have three colors before they added some more colors people will buy it they also came out with the so they have a new series of music where you can just talk to siri and you know siri plays the music that you want you don't have the options to um choose or anything like that you just say hey siri i want to hear the song and it plays it for you so that is another way that apple is killing it and you know as long as apple keep coming out with new product that people want i will still be a strong investor in the company the company pay their dividend on a regular basis pay, they pay a pretty a pretty good dividend um, I have this on this side. I also have it on the Warren Buffett section of the portfolio here, which is right in here. I think I have a little bit more here, about $2,000 as well. So if I take a look at my total holdings, I think, yep, app, um, Apple here is my second holding and um, second biggest holding. And I have a total value of almost $6,000 in, in, in there. So that is great. I'm going to keep on buying Apple, keep on doing my thing with Apple because the dividend comes in. I love it. The next thing I also want to touch on here is Tesla. Okay. I want to touch on Tesla just because this company keep doing the thing. They're executing well. Elon must know what he's doing. If you guys, if you only watch this segment or if you're watching for the first time, I do a, a segment on this channel where I talk about all more details where i just only talk about tesla stock what's going on with them and a dollar cost average 30 dollars into the stock so as you guys can see here in in with the performance overall overall the stock is up for me 321 percent i've never seen this type of gains before to be honest for me it's not even about the gains for the most part it's more about looking at actually getting deep with what the company is doing doing research all the time um looking at all the different things because the company is doing so many things so looking deeper into it gives me more more confidence into the company and what they're up to they basically just reached one trillion dollars in market cap recently you know got them over to over a thousand a thousand dollars a share and my average price right now is at 518. I believe over time, um, this average price for me would go down just because um, I think the company will be worth trillions of dollars in the future. 
they have a lot of things going on i talk about it all the time if you want more details go go check out those those um those video you know the past month the stock has performed quite well you know um one of the things that pushed the stock up recently is this news that hurts basically hurts here they are buying 100,000 cars from tesla model model 3 and funny enough elon is not giving them any discount they're paying whatever you and i would pay if we were to order our, our own model 3 so they are not getting any discount they're not getting any special treatment i love that about elon keep it keeps doing his thing and on top of everything if you take a look here look at the backlog this is the, this is tesla model y this is the current backlog that we have on the car okay if you order this model y right now right you're gonna get it in, in may of next year next year may of 2022 that's when you're gonna get a car that's the kind of back backlog they have and if you take a look at all their other models they basically have backlog the only one that they don't have backlog on is the model 3 all right that's the that's their flagship car for the most part this one right here the model 3 this is the one that they don't have any backlog on you can get this pretty quickly so that is good but yeah when it comes to the portfolio though i'm gonna keep on doing what i'm doing um, my dollar cost average into the stock thirty dollars a day if you guys are subscribers of the channel you know that and this is the result of me doing thirty dollars a day into the stock um, it's been amazing it's worked out really really well for me so far and obviously doing research and looking more into the company yeah, let's take a look here at the current dividend Let's do an update on the dividend. I just touched on the growth side. So let's do an update on the dividend. So the dividend that I got paid, I didn't get paid any, anything today that I'm recording this. On uh, If I look at the week, I've only gotten paid a dollar. So this is a, a slow week. If I look at the month, I've gotten paid uh, almost 40 bucks, $39. If I look at the past three months, this is one quarter. I got paid $152, roughly $153. And if I look at the past year, I've got some paid $600, $604 in the past 12 months. So if you divide that on a monthly basis, you know, that is not bad. That is a very good amount of money. And so far for, you know, all time that I've had the portfolio, I've gotten paid $814 so far that I have this portfolio. So it's been doing well. It's been doing quite well. And I really love the performance of the portfolio. Uh, I mean, if you take a look at both metrics, take a look at the dividend. It's 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 growing, you know, slowly but surely it's growing. And also, if you take a look at the capital gains, it's also going growing as well. And that is in part of me, um, you know, being active on the market and be able to buy stock on big dips like this. Look at this apple. This is apple right here. And I, I bought a little bit when the stock drops significantly. And we've seen a nice gain since then. I bought some around this area. And we've seen a nice uh, 7% gain since then. And, you know, with with Tesla, when it comes to Tesla stock, I basically just buy on a regular anyways. So when it comes to Tesla stock here, let's look at the past six months because I buy on a regular basis. You know, the past six months is grown. It's grown like crazy. For, uh, almost 50% here, you know, and even in the after hours here that I'm recording, we're up, we're up $23, 2%. So the growth is just there with these companies and I just keep on staying focused and buying companies that are growing really fast to fulfill this. And at the same time, trying to buy companies that also pay dividend. So we have compounding working for us in a very positive manner and it's working for us as fast as possible. So that is the main goal of the channel. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get into the next segment, which is going to be talking about some of the changes that I've done that I've made to the portfolio. As I said, as I said earlier on, I record these videos during different times. So this amount might be different. But what you're watching right now, this is the current amount of the portfolio right now. So some of these changes that I've uh, made to the portfolio in this week's um, episode is that I'm I'm always trying to figure out how I can make the portfolio a lot better, a lot leaner, cleaner to present to you guys. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to move some of the stocks that are in here. 
and I'm moving them right into the passive income section. Just because this portfolio is a dividend and growth section and just having this section here is a, I think it's a, it will be a, a bit confusing to you guys, my audience. So I'm trying to like clean it up over time. So over time, I will get rid of this, this section of the portfolio here and I can move this percentage over time, move it right here. So this take the bulk of the money that gets new, the new money that gets deposited into the portfolio. Now, some other stocks that have been uh, moving around, as you guys see here, is like 20, 22 sells and seven buys. So if I open this up, uh, I'll talk about it and, sh and you know show you guys what's going on here. So what I'm doing is this section is the sell section. So in, in M1, when you're moving money around, I did videos on videos on this already. I will leave it in the cards if you want to learn how to move money around in M1 safely. So what happens here is when you're moving money around, you have to sell on one side and buy it back on the other side. So it cancel, cancel, cancels, cancels the sell out. So that's what happened when you're trying to sell. You sell on one side and buy it back on the other. So these are all the sales that has been going on and I'm buying it back in the passive income section, selling it from the stock section and buying it back in the passive income section. So uh, these are some of the companies uh, that, that, that I've been selling and these are new companies that I've been buying. Okay. Um, you know, Facebook is a new buy for me. I'm buying some more of it. Uh, Tesla, I'm always buying Tesla. Square, you know, we're buying some more. Um, trying to build up my holdings with, with Square because Square is such a big growing company. And, um, you know, we're buying Vici, Twilio. We're buying a lot of these companies so, you know, we can help grow the portfolio. Facebook, for example, I'm, you know, I'm buying, I'm buying Facebook quite aggressively, maybe at like $100 um, every two days or so. Uh, just because the stock has been beating down, like it's been beating down quite hard. So I've been buying it on a regular basis, you know, because Facebook is a bigger company than what we currently have. And stay tuned. I have a whole video planned out for Facebook itself. And uh, yeah, so that this, this is some of the changes that has happened this week. Um, all I'm just doing is moving stocks around. I'm moving in from one side of the portfolio to the other. And in order to do that safely without necessarily selling the stock is I'm trying to move it out of here and move it into this section of the portfolio. So this is the second changes that I major changes that I've done the, done to the portfolio in a while. So for those of you guys that know, you guys know that way back in the days, I brought this over this, the stocks that are in here pretty much from my previous broker. Uh, and this was transferred here um july 6 uh 2021 but what i'm gonna do is um i would love to keep this but they don't pay dividend so a few of them do pay dividend and mo most of them don't so if i take a look here at all times i've gotten a total of um 42 dollars and if i click view here you can see dick sporting goods all these companies they paid you know a little something into the portfolio but it's not anything that is like too significant and everything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell out of all the stock. I'm going to sell out of all the stock that are in here and move it into the monthly income section. Okay. It has done uh, pretty well in general. It has gained 40, uh, 44% and it has gained roughly about, about um, $800, which is nice. So that's a nice profit. So I'm going to sell out of all the stock and basically move everything over into the monthly income section of the portfolio, which is under passive income and just move everything over here. So that way, this is close to five grand. Most likely that should be earning. If I click on one, one, uh, if I click on one month over time, you know, I'm trying to build this up where this is earning like 50 to a hundred dollars on a consistent basis every month. You know, if it's earning a hundred dollars a month, you know, that's solid twelve hundred dollars um, on a monthly basis. That's pretty much guaranteed. So I want to try to build this this section. 
I did say in my previous videos that I want to get this up to the point where it's paying me like 50 to 100 bucks a month. And, and then just what I would do is now roll the money over. So once I get paid um, the 50 to 100 bucks, I'll now use that same money to put it back in to buy more, put it back in to buy more. And that'll be able to earn more. And it would be easier for me to be able to show the progression of the compounding on the portfolio. It's just going to make the portfolio a lot better. Um, so, and I can now move these percentages. I can move it right in here. So in general, it's going to be good. So, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed um, what you've seen so far. I hope you've enjoyed this portfolio update. If you like what I do here, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And, um, you know, this update is going to keep on going until the portfolio gets to a million dollars. That's, that is why it's called the million dollar challenge. We are, we are going to keep on going. This is just the beginning. I'm not even at 10% mark yet. So a long way to go. Uh, but, um, you know, I appreciate you for subscribing. If you're subscribed to the channel, I'm, I'm a pretty new YouTuber and, you know, I'm trying to build my audience here. I feel like I have something special going on check out the channel see what i'm about and uh yeah we'll just go from there i appreciate you for watching until next time see you later love you all bye